All right. So we're talking about the Supreme Court, right? Um, the highest resort for all our civil matters in our state of Texas. On the Supreme Court, we have one chief justice and we have eight associate justices. They're elected for a six year term and they are the highest resort. One of two at the highest resort. Now, grand juries. A grand jury will determine if we have enough evidence, sufficient evidence to bring someone to trial. So what they will do is form an indictment. It will be either a true bill or no bill. A true bill means that there is sufficient evidence to move forward. No bill means there is not. couple of terms that we've heard and are outlined on in your textbook. Hung jury. That means not a majority of the members of the jury believe that this person is guilty. They were not able to come conclusively to a verdict. In our district courts, they have 12 person juries and in our county courts, they have six. We've seen in our Supreme Courts, the same way we've seen in our legislature, and we've talked about this, uh, lack of diversity. Um, most of our judges at the highest court courts in Texas are white men. We do have a Latina, Eva Guzman, on the Supreme Court. We have another Latina, Michelle Slaughter, on the Criminal Court of Appeals. But mostly you will see white men. We've had some black men in the past, but currently it's mostly white men. Women are found in a majority of appeals courts, however, and a lot of the lower courts are still male dominated. So remember when we had the percentage of the, our ethnicities versus how they ranked up in the legislature? Well, it's pretty much the same for judges. African Americans are 13% of the population and make up 5% of the judges. Latinos, 39% of the population, 17% of the judges. Anglos, 44% of the population, 77% of the judges. All of these stats are in your textbook, but it's very important to see that we're still weighing heavily towards white male. And that is it for chapter nine. Please stay tuned to Blackboard. I will be posting some updates to your syllabus. And then next week, we're going to start talking about your signature assignment. You guys lucked out. At least you don't have to do a presentation. So that's good. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.